What's up guys, so I'm going over the 9 new vehicles added to Warstock and the Doomsday Heist DLC. More specifically, I'm going over how many rockets and homing missiles it takes to destroy them, since that's all you free mode warriors really care about. Starting off with the Thruster Jetpack, the Deluxo, the RCV, and the Chernobog, these all take one RPG or one homing missile to kill, which if you did not know, the RPG is way more stronger than the homing missile, so considering that both only take one shot to kill it, it means that it is extremely easy to blow it up. And by the way, all these vehicles have 100% armor. If you're thinking about purchasing the RCV, don't. It is a piece of shit. There's no reason for it. It doesn't have any guns on it. It's very slow. You can't push cars out of the way like you see in the trailer. It's just a ripoff. The Thruster, I can take it or leave it. The Deluxo, it's a DeLorean. Of course, people are going to buy it. And the Chernobog, I can understand why it dies so easily. The Chernobog is able to shoot five homing rockets at once, making sure that there is no way you can get away from it and survive. So we understand why that only takes one missile to kill it. Moving on, the Akula helicopter takes three RPGs or three homing missiles. Like I said before, it takes three RPGs or three homing missiles to kill, making it a pretty strong helicopter. Factoring in all the upgrades and stuff the Akula has available for it, especially the stealth option, I'd say it's worth your money and don't even invest in the Hunter because the Akula is basically a better version of the Hunter. The Stromberg submarine car takes two RPGs or six homing missiles. I really wouldn't invest in this one because how often are you really going to be going under the sea and having to battle someone? It's a cool car to see in the game, but there's not much practical use when it comes to PvP. The Kanali tank takes 8 RPGs or 8 homing missiles, making it way stronger than the Rhino, which only takes 3. And moving on to a vehicle I was very surprised by. The Barrage takes either 5 RPGs or 13 homing missiles to destroy, putting it on par with an Armored Insurgent. What it lacks in window protection like the Insurgent has in the back and the sides, it makes up for and its speed and the dual mounted miniguns or optional grenade launcher. And the price isn't too bad either, I think it's one of the cheapest vehicles on Warstock right now in this update. If you had to buy one of these vehicles, I would definitely go with the Barrage. And moving on to the Avenger, the MOC in the sky. It takes 10 RPGs to blow it up and 16 homing missiles to shut it down. I fired 20 at it to try to, you know, blow it up, but it didn't, it wouldn't blow up. It died, but it would not blow up and ended up disappearing after the 20th uh, homing missile. So it could take a lot of damage. And that's pretty much it. I know a couple people already tested the vehicle stats when it comes to, you know, explosive damage. However, I like testing things myself just so that way I know my testing was consistent and it's accurate. And I think my audience feels the same way. So for those comments saying, oh, so-and-so already did this, I know they did, a ton of people already did this. I've just been too busy working on other videos to get this one out. But that is all you need to know for becoming a free roam warrior in free mode. If you're trying to destroy people and kill them, the Barrage and Avenger takes a shit ton of homing missiles. And I would definitely buy one or even both of them if you could afford it. That's pretty much it. This has been Gypsy. Thank you guys for watching the video and supporting it. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more GT Online content. I got more coming very soon. And I will see you all on the next one.